As part of a group of freshman walk-ons in 1984, Randy Parker's impact on the emergence of Coach Charlie Arnold's JMU swimming program could hardly have been anticipated. It was a unique team. It was we were we were kind of like a a uh, almost a little slow backwater uh, swim team. You know, we had a, we just suddenly started got a lot of good talent come in in in, in a couple of years, and we started developing that talent. And and uh, you know, we didn't have matching uh, matching. Uh, sweats or, 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 or t-shirts or any of that kind of stuff. We just went to swim meets and, and, uh, and just, uh, you know, went and sw swam as hard as we could and, uh, and, and got, got better and better as a group. And I think the group fed off each other, you know, and then certain talents got, got uh, you know, to the top like Randy did. Parker became the most dominant swimmer of his era. The Colonial Athletic Association was formed during his sophomore year, and he captured the league's Men's Swimming Athlete of the Year in the CAA's first three seasons. He was three-time CAA champion in the 100-yard butterfly and the 100-yard freestyle, and his 50-meter freestyle record in the conference meet stood for 13 years. We shaved and tapered during the fall to go up against University of Virginia. And so, uh, it, who was a powerhouse uh, uh, for back then, uh, and we never had touched them. We shaved and tapered, uh, and ultimately beat them that season uh, of our sophomore year. It came down to the four by one hundred free relay uh, on that meet, and it, you know, we end up uh, winning. I believe it was like fifty nine to fifty four uh, as uh, that relay. It was uh, Brian Tobias and uh, was first, and Randy Parker went second. And we had again, Chris Kewen who went third, and then I was fourth. And the Randy had lots of swims that everyone remembers as being great. To me, that was the greatest swim he ever swam was the, his second uh, second leg of that uh, that race. So that set the bar pretty high. Uh, and uh, and after that, we decided we could beat anybody. When he would go out and do what he would do with his talent, his hard work, but really it was an attitude. The attitude was, um, we. We can win this. I can win this race. I can, I can dump some time, even though it may not make any sense. I'm going to dump some time in this, you know, and, and go faster in this race. And, and then Randy would do that. So, that. so we kind of grouped around that, that uh, lightning rod and became uh, faster as a team. Parker excelled in the classroom as well, fulfilling an expectation driven home by his teammates. Swimming was just as important as, as the academics piece, and that was, uh, I'd say, you know, and, and Randy, of course, was that way. He pulled a lot. He pulled several 4.0s uh, throughout the, his college years, and I competed better with him on that than I did when it came to sprint freestyle, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest member of the JMU Athletics Hall of Fame, Randy Parker.